Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm a little down on my, my spirit a little bit today, you know, but, um, you know, we, we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in. We always get it in. We're going to get it in. We're going to get it in today. Listen. Today, our conversation, our inspirational minutes with David today. You already know I was going to talk about it. You, you had to know, right? You had to know. It's about uh, Barana Taylor. Outcome with the with the three uh, policemen, cops. As we said in my neighborhood, popos. Um, the the decision. No one was indicted for murder. Um, you know, it is what it is. It ain't like you know it, it never happened. It ain't like that. Uh, it's not like we not use of this treatment. We people. We. Us, the people. Um, today's, our top of today, the title is Where is the justice? Because all we know is just us. Just us. Quotations around just us. Just us. Um, justice is a scale, and the scale is supposed to be even. And when it's you know this way, this scale is not even. But when we, black people in America, against the justice system, the scale us, you know we. I guess we're a little too heavy for the scale to be balanced because justice is just us. Um, wow, man, it's, 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 it's pretty deep because um, this is nothing new. You know, protesting, going around, and around and around and around in circles doing the same damn thing over and over again looking for different results is insanity. It, I mean, it's, it's insanity. We're going round and round, over and over and over. And still, there's no justice because it's just us. You know, we've been... We've been protesting for a long time. Over 50, 60 years protesting for our rights, for justice, for, you know, for them to see us as human. Justice. Not just us, justice. But it's been just us. And and as you go down this, this rabbit hole a little bit deeper, when you do your homework and when you search a little bit more, you begin to climb up the ladder. You begin to learn things that was never taught because it wasn't for you, us. It wasn't for us. To know. Because when you start going up the ladder. And when you start going deeper into the rabbit hole. You will find out that it's really not about race. It's not. It's not about race at all. It's about control. 
It's about power. And it's about control of your mind. Control of our way of life. You see, we are definitely in the matrix. A lot of us are blue pilling it. Afraid of the red pill. It's too much truth. Again, when you when you when you hurl when you hurl truth and falsehood, it knocks his brains out. Falsehood cannot stand up against truth. You can put a minuscule of truth on Mount Rushmore of falsehood, it will reverberate and crumble that mountain into powder. But you have to go down the rabbit hole. You have to be a critical thinker. You cannot be the sheep with the proverbial carrot. As I talk about all the time, the carrot going back and forth, and you're trying to you're trying to catch it. You will never catch it. And when you do, like I said many times before, it won't be real in the way it'll be a plastic carrot. Sheep. People, wake up. When are you going to wake up? Yeah, I do videos and I have a small following. Uh, uh, following and people follow me. People ask me, oh, you a conspiracist? No. I'm just a critical thinker. Uh, you know, uh, I just can't, uh, I just can't just let anything be told to me without research. I can't just know. I have to research it. Hell no, I have to research it. Again, as you clam up different ladders, when you go down the rabbit hole, you'll find that's not even about race. It's about power. The elite is governing your mental Governing, controlling your mental government, govern your mental controlling the way you think, what you eat, how you sleep, the food you eat, the medicine you take, the programs that you watch on TV, the, the things that you see on social media. You think you that you're thinking for yourself. But it's all technology, family. Yeah, they slick. Very slick. Slick all. Slick, I tell you. And it just saddens my soul that here we are, 2020. Oh man, the banana and the tailpipe is so real. It been it been real, but it's so 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 real. Authentic. And we keep hurting along. We hurting along banana. And never it get longer and longer, you, you will never reach it. It saddened me. It says my heart, it says my soul yesterday, uh, the verdict. No one was, uh, none of the three officers were uh, convicted of murder. And what surprisingly, uh, yesterday was uh, September the 23rd, you know, when the conviction, the answer of the conviction came through. The same day as Emmett Till's conviction of the people who murdered him, they got off on that. Surprisingly, coincidentally, the same date, September the 23rd. You know, I'm not really a follower of D.L. Hewley, but I saw something today that, 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 you know, it struck my interest, what he said today. And I'm going to read it. He said, for those of you wondering how or why Brianna did not get the justice she deserved, then he put hashtag Daniel Cameron. Oh, who is Daniel Cameron? Well, let me tell you who Daniel Cameron is, family, ladies and gentlemen. He's the 51st Attorney General of the state of Kentucky. Young guy, I think he's like 30-something years old, 34, 35. A black man, by the way. D.L. Hewlett go on to say, he put his aspirations above his obligation to justice when he spoke 
at the RNC, Republican National Convention, in the middle of an investigation. He pledged his loyalty to be an advocate and a voice to the men and women in blue. <laughs> Your duty, sir, is to the citizens. He said he was working around the clock. But somehow, he found time for engagement party and wedding with Mitch Connell and the attendants. Guess who would never walk down the aisle? Guess. Brianna Taylor, the innocent woman whose justice, just us, justice, just us, justice, just us, was given to sheetrock, bricks, and a few layers of paint. He is a walking, breathing conflict. He is Daniel Cameron, a walking, breathing conflict of interest, a puppet, and a disgrace. Hashtag Dean Team Dia Hewley. If you made it this far, with inspirational minutes with David. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. It helps our channel to grow. Hit the bell notifications. Yeah, I'm not going to bug you too much. Again, I end my our videos this way. I just want us to evolve. 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 To change. To change. Follow me. Facebook. D fly optician. Instagram, D underscore fly underscore optician. And then the words of Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. In his words, he said, once you change the way you look at things, once you, you, let me get my pointer, once you, you, you change the way you look. At things, the things you look at change. Can I, can I hold you to it? Can I hold you to looking at things differently? To go down the rabbit hole with with me, with us, to be a critical thinker, to question everything. Can I hold you to it? Can I hold you to look at things differently? Because the things you look at differently will change. Can I hold you to it? Thank you in advance, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David. I am the fly optician. And know that if I love me, then I love you. I love you. I love you. And if I love you, in return, I love myself. If you love you, then you love me. And if you love me in return, you will love yourself. Let's make this thing go global. The agape love. The evolution. Because the revolution, because of our evolution, our evolution would definitely be televised. I love you. I love you in truth. Peace.